Hello viewers, here is a Holmes pedestal fin. This is the Holmes pedestal fin model HASF 1506A. It's a very strange fin. It's kind of an odd design. I don't know how the motor works in these things without overheating because there's not a lot of air going in and I don't really see how any air gets out and it just seems like it'd be really small you know because the oscillating gearbox has got to at least go up to here so then the motor is like I don't know it's just strange I've yet to actually get around to taking one of these apart, but I'm very curious to see what's inside there. Now this one I thought I thought this was one that Todd sent me. I I, I know he sent me a a Holmes Oscillations desk fan. I'm pretty sure that he sent me one of these as well. And I thought this was the one, but now it Looks like this has a had a sticker on there, so maybe it was one I got at at a at, no, I don't think it was one I got a Habitat. Ah, maybe the sticker was just left over from from when he bought it. Now that I'm explaining that, it really doesn't make any sense why the sticker's presence would make it not the one that he sent me. Whatever, it's late. Um, so this one. This one's got some problems. The stand is busted up. That leg is kind of flaky. So I gotta fix that. And um, certain parts of this thing are really, really yellowed out. Like the controls, the stand, the rear guard, that piece that holds the blade on. But interestingly enough, the blade itself is not in bad shape. It's a little bit warped, but not too bad. I have a couple other ones of these that have the, the swirl base. And they look cosmetically better, but the blades are spoiled. Which is unfortunate. You know, we're kind of getting to the point now where a lot of these fans from the 90s, the plastic models, are starting to have some problems. You know, we have the problems with the, a lot of the D-Blade Galaxy Lasco fans are starting to warp. Some of these now, some of these Holmes ones are starting to warp. So it's really kind of unfortunate. But that's the way it is. And I haven't found any good way to fix that. You know, some people claim you just bend it back, but I, I've never had good results doing that nor does that make any sense to me so this is kind of a weird design because it's very low to the ground and I don't think so that this even gets any taller oh I guess it does huh. okay well it's not that weird anymore now it's a normal height I don't know why I thought that it doesn't. Okay, it's, my brain really does not work good late at night anymore. I used to be able to stay up late, and now I, I just can't anymore. It's only like 11 o'clock, and I already like thoroughly go to sleep. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see how it works. I guess this will be a good one to use in the living room because the sun has already done a number on this thing. It's nice recording these pedestal fans here in this new studio because you can actually fit the whole thing into the frame. Alright, so right now we're testing at 118.2 the volts. We'll go over to the amps. And let's turn it on. I don't know if you'll be able to see the kilowatts meter in the video or not, if it's going to be clear enough. So we'll start with the low. 
Oh, good, it works. I don't want the circulations on there. Okay, so it sounded very, like, restricted when it first started up, but then it went away. That was kind of weird. Let's see if we can replicate that again. I think that these fans were aerodynamic disasters. The guard is way too thick, especially towards the center there. The back guard is restrictive and now that the blades are starting to warp they're just not quite the what they should be. Let's see if we can get that sound on the video. Yeah, there it was. It did it again. It's like got that real restrictive sound as if like something was in front of it. But then it goes away. And then it just operates poorly. And I don't think so that these were ever that good because I remember these in uh, I guess it was in middle school. I was in middle school and these were, were coming out and one of my classrooms had one of these it sat in the corner actually two two classroom have these fans one of them had this model I I don't remember what the base looked like I think it was probably the swivel base swirl base whatever and then uh, so there was this model and then another classroom I don't even remember if it was the same grade or not, but another classroom had the black version of this, which seems to be a lot less common. And the guard was missing, and it was all like busted up and decrepit, but they still ran it. Stupid. But anyway, so uh, I remember then. And of course, this is back when when I was in school, when it was hot out, you still went and you just sweat all day, and that's what it was. And so I remember sitting in class with this thing running in the corner and you couldn't feel the slightest draft anywhere in the room from this thing. It was useless. And uh, the performance here right now is, is pretty abysmal. And it's not super noisy, but it's making a decent amount of noise and uh, I just really don't feel much ear movement. I'll turn off the heat for a second. I can feel only the air from the fan, which isn't much. And if I come all the way across the studio here, I can feel like a real slight draft, but it's not much. It's it's pretty abysmal for a 16-inch fan. This is 0.3 amps. 36 watts, the power factor 1, so it's, it's going to be a PSC motor. The balance is, uh, is actually pretty good, which is surprising because the blade is warped. Alright, let's go to the medium now. Okay, the only thing I haven't tried to fix these blades, somebody, I forget where, Somebody had suggested hot water, putting the blade in hot water, let it get real soft, and then reform it and let it cool right away. And that makes good sense to me because I don't think that the the hot water would deform the would like damage the plastic at all. Because I've tried with the heat gun and it just wrecked it. You know, cheap things I tried with, it didn't work. So. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe I'll try that. Okay, so medium. It still stinks. And now it's just, uh, now it's just loud, too. Yeah, this is pretty abysmal. It doesn't move much air at all. I mean, it's a little bit dirty, so maybe the performance will get 
a little better once I clean it, but I have not much hope for this thing. I think it's just the way it is. I think it just stinks. So we're looking at 0.36 amps, 42 to the watt to the power factor of 0.98. Now it's yeah, going between 90 and 1. All right, now the high. And it's got kind of like an annoying high frequency, almost like a whistle to it. And that's 0.46 amps, 53 to watts, and the power factor of 0.96. Now, so I don't know where, I don't know where the, the 0.8 amps is coming from. That seemed, seemed awfully high to me, and I'm sure that the blade is putting a little bit less resistance on the motor because of the, the warpage and everything, so it's not catching as much air, but I don't think so that it's going to decrease that much. So I think the rating is just way off. So the airflow now, starting to feel the balance is a bit out, but still not that bad. The airflow now is, I mean, now it's moving some here. At least now if I stand here across the room, I can feel a considerable amount of air moving, although it's still not great. And I'm only, what, maybe four feet away? And it's just, it's not impressive at all. Even from three feet away, it's still pretty abysmal. Now let's try the articulations. That's it. Huh. Even the articulation is abysmal. It hardly moves. What is that, like 20 degrees? That's pathetic. This is ridiculous. Wow. Huh. Unreal. Usually it's like a full... Like 90 degrees. So you put it in the corner and it it'll, would get the whole rum. Now this is like maybe 30, 40 degrees of that. Not much at all. Wow. What an abysmal VM. Yeah, the airflow is really quite pitiful. Not good. Alright, let's cut it off here. And you can tell by the way it slows down gradually that the blade is not catching much air at all. So it's definitely having a problem. Seems like the bearings are still in pretty good shape. Which I remember the bearings are pretty good on these back in the day. Alright, well that's it for this thing. It's uh, a pretty abysmal fan but I will clean it up and service it and maybe I'll use it in the living room for a while because it's already been beaten up by the sun, so I wouldn't I wouldn't feel bad putting it in the sunniest room of the house.